Joining us for our first on CNBC interview, Equifax CEO Mark Vigor. Good to see you again, Mark. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me on, Sarah. So how, how involved have you been with the federal government as it relates to today's indictment? How long did it take to get there, and, and what did that all look like? Yeah, we, we started to collaborating with them right after the incident. Uh, you know, I joined a few months uh, later in April of 2018, but uh, this collaboration was going on for quite some time. And I think today's announcement showed how sophisticated um, the attackers were. You know, it's one thing to defend against a hacker or someone trying to steal some credit card numbers, but defending against the military arm of another government, in this case China, really raises the bar not only for Equifax, but for every company uh, around the globe and in the United States in defending against cyber attacks. On page three of the indictment, it does say that Apache announced a vulnerability in, in your system of the software, and the U.S. Computer Emergency Readiness Team did issue a threat warning notice on the following day, but it wasn't patched up and, and it wasn't contained. So how much responsibility are you taking at Equifax? Well, sir, I think you know we took quite a bit of responsibility. Uh, earlier, in, last summer, um, we announced a, uh, the largest consumer fund ever um, related to data security and also had settlements uh, with uh, the uh, attorney generals from across the United States, the FTC and the CFPB. And then most importantly, we're focused on today and tomorrow. We spent the last two years, uh, uh, we launched two years ago, um, the largest investment in our history, a $1.25 billion investment in our technology and security. Uh, with the goal of having the industry leading security. We know that the data we uh, manage and possess is extremely sensitive, uh, and that's why we're taking it so seriously with this uh, massive investment. And we're about two-thirds of the way through um, that technology transformation that we believe is going to give us uh, uh, the best security in the industry. What do you think about the fact, Mark, that members of the Chinese military, official government agents, four guys, were able to break in and steal effectively the information on what? Half the adult community of the United States of America. How does well, that happen? Yeah, well, it's, um, there's hackers out there. I think you know uh, the Justice Department also in indicted uh, China's uh, same military arm for the uh, uh, Anthem Health um, breach a number of years ago. And the Attorney General this morning talked about the fact that they believe perhaps Marriott's breach was a result of the same hackers. So these are clearly very sophisticated uh, individuals and a team with, uh, you know, very extensive resources. And it raises the bar for all of us. And that's why we're investing so heavily in data security. We're investing in our technology. Here's, Mark, here's the problem. I think that, that America, I'll just speak as a consumer, not as a journalist. If I choose to do business with Target, I'm choosing to do business with them. Maybe I give them my information, open a credit card up. You guys get our information without us choosing to do business with Equifax. So people get frustrated and say, well, you've got all this information on me. I don't even know what you've got. And now the Chinese know more about what my credit profile may look like than I do. Well, I think you know the, the three credit bureaus provide a real service as well as the other recorder, credit reporting agencies to allow consumers to get access to credit. And we know we have a real responsibility with that, which is why we're investing so heavily in our data security and transforming our technology to make sure that the security is the strongest out there. Uh, we know it's a responsibility we have to have and uh, one that we take uh, very seriously.